Well, hey guys, we're gonna do a review on my fishing boat. It's just a 14 foot John boat, 58 across the top, 36 on the bottom. We got two 12 volt battery system on here. We got a pusher motor. It's just a Minn Kota. The guts messed up in here. I wired her straight, put me a breaker in there, reset. And I have a, a, a PVC. I like to use these PVCs. Check out what I did here. You screw that into the wood by drilling you some holes and then putting you some screw in there. But you use carriage bolts. Let's see if you can see in that tube. See them carriage bolts? They start right at the out here. That way you're not shorting out against this aluminum. So you got a positive and a negative. And of course I got a, a toggle switch up front that it runs at. So when I'm needing that extra power, I'll be cruising along here. Kick that switch on. Give me that extra boost I need. Gets me up to four mile an hour with trolling motors. I just got three or four different trolling motors I use up front, depending on if I'm in a lot of current or if I'm in the lake. This is just a 27 pound. It's the most comfortable trolling motor. I got an extend, extended handle on there, but it's the easy lake one, you know, as long as I'm not in a big lake. And then I got my uh, Humminbird. That's a Helix 7 with the side imaging and the down imaging and the double chirp sonar. And then over here is my transducer. I got this mount right here. So when I see the fish right here, I can drop lures down there. I've actually caught fish like that before. It's dropping down as soon as I see them. And then my son is a welder. He built this plate right here for me. Solid aluminum block. It's not solid, but it's, it's a tube square tubing and uh he capped that off so it wouldn't have no sharp edge right there and then, of course over there with the transducer is it's straight up and down all right in here we took some timing belt and we spaced it right where i can have tool a tool uh belt for my all my tools and i use a braided scissors black marker color line braid line and stuff some needle nose pliers and some hook removers I got a power indicator here. It's got USB plugs there. It's really old, but it still works. 12 volt plug. Got an indicator. Here's my switch. Turn that on. I got my voltage. Put my light in here. If the uh, turn that same switch on, turns my lights on. You know, if it gets dark, you got to have lights. And uh, I use uh, that that grip tape for my trolling motor on that flat platform too. It works really well. Now here's a, something a lot of people have been asking me about is the seat pedestal. This is a little complicated little piece right here, which could be really simplified if you have somebody that can weld aluminum. Because what you got is a seat pedestal has a two and a half inch drop. So it has to be th about that high up off, off the ground. I took some angle pinned it through this sideways across here in the front and the back and then I took carriage bolts and put them all the way up through these two befores just enough to to put a nut on there and screw them down and then cut them off then I put the piece of plywood on there and locked it all together with that and then these carriage bolts here they go all the way let's see if I can turn this over all the way through the bottom so it's solid but if you have aluminum welder you can do do a really great job just by building a solid platform across there that's raised and uh, anyway it gives me so much room i can do a full rotation around this thing it's really handy and of course you know i got a umbrella thing over here for the kids we get kids in here and it gets sunny and hot we can kick this umbrella up but i also have one on my seat I mount this thing right there and when it rains i pretty well stay dry and of course i got a bungee cord gotta lock it right here on each side and you can lock it in where the wind won't blow it off but that's one way i stay dry right there i have a eight horsepower uh honda four stroke motor it's a 2007 model problem is one of the coils is messing up on it having trouble finding parts so 
I put this trolling motor on there and I've been catching enough fish. I ain't really had to go back to it. Only thing I don't get to do is go out in a big, strong river current. But anyway, I got these catfish rod holders that go here and some pole holders there. And oh, check out my little life jacket. So if I want to get to my life jacket, you can just rotate this up. Pull your life jacket out. Very simple and easy to do. Same thing up here. I keep three in the boat. And if we have kids with us, they usually have to wear a smaller one anyhow. So, you know, we'll have them three always in the boat. And then over here, I got a little lure box. You can throw lures in when you're, when you're fishing about. Rubber cup holders. Another tool. Tool belt. I got this new measuring thing. It's got large numbers, easy to see. And I got my old school ruler across here, 48 inches. And of course I got my Lunker Trail rod holders. I, I like one on each side there, one up at the front. I want to put one in, up here also. But you just put them on these tie down cleats. And your rod's sitting there, it's really nice and handy. When you catch the fish, you can pull back on that pole and not have to worry about it being binded up. I love these things. But yeah, you can look under the video, guys. I got these things in uh, in the description box under Lunker Trail website. You can click on that and check them out. They're really handy. I mean, I, I love them. And uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah, we got this casino net. Very handy. This is a uh, rubber coated. It helps keep your lure from getting snagged as much and uh, it has this metal or aluminum beam or whatever it is going it's solid all the way around there got a big mouth on it very good for scooping up them crappie and bat, bass and everything real light net and you drop it in the water she floats really nice and handy but i keep me a storage box a dry box where i can put stuff in also has some lights and batteries and other stuff that i might need look a few tools my son welded these brackets on the back here <clears throat> really strong good for the river you get in some current your boat drifts off your trailer you know even even when these are down under water the boat will try to drift over the top of them but if you got these runners right here you can stop that in that current and pull right up in there oh, it's going to keep you guided straight you know what i like about this uh trailer Like I said, my son son did some welding for me. He welded this jack on here for me. He welded these platforms on here for me so I can get up here and walk around. You see my boat right there. I can get up here and winch my boat real good. I actually undid this so I could uh, show you this trailer. But anyway, we got good platforms you can walk on. I got that grip tape all the way down to here. So I can walk all over this thing. These jacks, when they're folded down, I got grip tape on them all everywhere so I don't slip and slide anywhere. I don't like sliding in that cold water anymore, guys. <laughs> so I do what I can to not do that. Let's just do it in that quick. But yeah, that's it guys. This is a this is a solid little little fishing boat and this right here i built this thing down here a long time ago oh, if I can get it off. just to keep a few loose items in but like these corks and stuff they would get blowed out and be in the boat and stuff so i went and found me another four inch piece that i could just stick down on there and now i can fill it full of tackle if i want to don't have to worry about it blowing out but that was the whole point of that thing but yeah guys that's my boat setup so far we change stuff as we we think we need to but right now it works really good for me so i'm happy with it also keep a little pin here i can lift this motor up and pin it like that right there get in that shallow water and stuff but yeah that's basically it guys I appreciate you guys watching. Later.